Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel, Paige Howell here. Or if you're new to my channel, welcome. This is not my traditional classroom because today on Teacher Tip Tuesday, we are going to talk about how to teach with VIP Kid when you travel. Guys, if you have not subscribed to my channel before we start, hit the below button, the button below. Um, I have a lot of great tips for VIP kid teachers. My channel is all about how to help you be the best online teacher um, and how to build your online business. So today, guys, here we go. We're going on a trip. Yes, I'm on a trip. And I want to teach while I'm on my trip because that's one of the beautiful things about working for VIP Kid is the ability to teach wherever you are. So today I am on vacation and you can see this is a temporary backdrop. Guys, this is so easy. These I actually got from Target. They go in a little folder that I have. I'm going to show you my little folder. And these I got from the Good Fortune Box. And I love the Good Fortune Box. If you don't know about the Good Fortune Box, hit the link below, use code PAGE. You're gonna to want to know about the Good Fortune Box because it has so many great things for online teachers. So as we get into talking today about traveling, so first off, when you know you are going to be traveling, one of the first things that I want you to do is I want you to call the place and make sure that they have adequate internet before you book if you plan to teach because not a good internet leads to a teacher IT and none of us want teacher ITs. None of us want to have to cancel our classes once we've already scheduled them. Mm, that's lost money in our pocket. So ask them what their upload speed is, what their download speed is, let them know why you are asking these questions that you're going to be teaching online remotely to students in China. So if they've got the thumbs up, the green light, then you can move forward. Then you're going to need to think about what am I going to use for my backdrop? Guys, it can be easy. It can be simple. One of the things that I do before I start to travel is in my feedback, I put for all of my families, I am going to be traveling the next two weeks. You're going to see my classroom look a little bit different, but I'm still going to be there for you and I can't wait to see you. So I let them know, I kind of give them an idea because all the kids are gonna be like, where are you, Teacher Linda? Where are you, Teacher Linda? Yes, I do go by Teacher Linda at VIP Kid because that's my first name. And you're probably wondering, where is Teacher Linda up here? Well, I kill two birds with one stone. I bring my whiteboard and if I have a new student and I introduce myself, my name is Teacher Linda. And I can erase it and I can start using it as my whiteboard. So it's one less thing to have to bring, to have to hang up. I've got my name right here. So that's one trick that I use when I do that. I actually teach a lot of regulars. I'm a seasoned teacher at VIP Kid. I've been teaching a little over two years and I teach a lot of regulars. But there is an opportunity that I may pick up a new student while I'm traveling and I wanna be prepared for that as well. So what are some other hints about traveling? I want to show you, you're going to want to make sure you have proper lighting. Now you're going to see my video change because the lighting was not good. Now I use this ring light and you can't even see me anymore, but it is very powerful. It's very light. It's very easy to put into a suitcase. It probably weighs like a pound, maybe even a pound, but you can see how much light that it gives me. And I am currently in a very dark section of the room that does not have a lot of lighting. So you're gonna wanna have the ring light. When I travel, it makes me be, it makes me realize how happy I am that I am actually a prop minimalist because I don't want to have to carry around a lot of things. So I use a lot of 2D props um, and 3D props, I guess. 2D props, 3D props, 2D props. Um, something like this, the question mark. I have something like this. I live in China. All of these fit nicely into my little bag of goodies. Guys, this is what I bring when I go. Plus this and plus my little whiteboard. Got my mic. Got my Meg down in here too. She's in here. Um, I have different little things that I bring with me and I make them work for my teaching while I'm here. The other thing that is in my little bag of goodies here 
are some of the things that I use a lot. I use, do you like cupcakes? I use this a lot. The other thing that's in here that I don't go anywhere without are my flash cards. And the flash cards that I use, I'm just gonna show you really quickly, are my first word flash cards by Play School. These are great, you can pick them up at Amazon. Um, you can check in the link below and I'll link them to them. But I can use these cards for almost any concept that I'm teaching. If I'm doing colors, what color is this? If I'm doing food, what food is this? Um, same thing, we do a lot of kite. We do a lot of banana. So these cards work really well so I can really improvise. The other thing, oh, there's my Meg. There she is, hi Meg. The other thing I use a lot when I'm traveling are my animal cards. And I can't even tell you where I got these animal cards, but I'm sure if you look up animal flashcards, you can find them without any issues. Um, but these are my animal flashcards. And so when we're talking about different animals, lion, what color is the lion? So chicken, when we do farm, what color is the pig? So I can bring in different things. So having different items that are versatile is going to be really helpful when you're traveling as well. The other thing I wanted to show you, I do always bring my letter cards uh, because there are so many things on the letter cards that we can work on too. Dog, cow, ball. These are all on my letter cards. For letter A, we can talk about alligator, elephant, if we're doing the elephant, the body parts, animal body parts, the trunk. Um, if we're doing, for instance, how do animals move? Frog, they jump. So these are the things, guys, that fit into my little envelope here, or page protector, if you would wanna call it that. And this is all I carry with me. It fits in my suitcase. Um, of course, I have my computer. So yes, I have my computer uh, that goes with me. And uh, my, I do have my headset too. I'm sorry, I should have shown you that. I do have my headset because I wanna make sure that the noise and the sound is really great when I am teaching. But otherwise, everything that I use, I'm putting it all here together, is going to be in this little bag right here that goes with me. And you can travel and you can teach wherever you are. And as long as you have great internet, all of your classes should go out without a hitch. You are on vacation and you are making money at the same time. So I hope you enjoyed that Teacher Tip Tuesday. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me in the comment section below. I'd love a great like. And next up, guys, we're going to be talking about short notices. So stay tuned and check back in. But if you hit the little bell, ding, 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 you will be notified when the next video comes out. Happy day, happy teaching, see you soon.